Do you know what the three little dots that you sometimes see in books and other publications mean? Do you know the correct way to use them? What are they actually called? All this and more coming up. But first, do subscribe to The English Nut. Thanks. What we often refer to as dot 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 is formally known as the ellipsis. An ellipsis is used when intentionally removing a word or words, including entire sentences from text that you are quoting. The word originates in an ancient Greek word that means leave out. You can write or type a full stop three times in a row to create this punctuation mark. The plural form of the word ellipsis is ellipses, where the second I is replaced with an E. The ellipsis is used for the sake of brevity, but you should employ it in such a way that it stays honest to the original meaning of the text. I will give you an example of the dishonest use of an ellipsis a bit later, but first let's see a few straightforward examples. The English nut explained, with the help of examples, how to use the ellipsis. I could remove a part of this sentence and replace it with an ellipsis like this. The English nut explained dot 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 how to use the ellipsis. There is less information in this shortened sentence, but it is not contrary to the sense of the original line. Or take this sentence, which I used earlier in the video. An ellipsis is used when intentionally removing a word or words, including entire sentences from text that you are quoting. I could use an ellipsis to replace a part of this sentence thus. An ellipsis is used when intentionally removing a word or words dot 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 from text that you are quoting. I'm reading out the dot dot dots just to explain it to you, but when you're reading a quote, you don't need to do it. Here's an example of a quote from Nelson Mandela where an entire sentence has been removed. Overcoming poverty is not a task of charity, it is an act of justice. Dot, 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 dot. It is man-made and it can be overcome and eradicated by the actions of human beings. You may have noticed that there are four dots in this quote. The first dot is the full stop at the end of the first sentence. The three following dots are the ellipses that represents the omitted sentence. You can use four dots like this when you remove one or more sentences from a quote. Here is the quote from Mandela with the omitted sentence added back. Overcoming poverty is not a task of charity. It is an act of justice. Like slavery and apartheid, poverty is not natural. It is man-made and it can be overcome and eradicated by the actions of human beings. You can also use more than one ellipsis if you want to remove words from different parts of a quote. For example, Desmond Tutu, the South African religious leader said, hope is being able to see that there is light despite all of the darkness. You can shorten the quote with two ellipses like this. Hope is being able to see dot 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 light despite dot 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 the darkness. Now let's look at this sentence. The article was a well-written, though factually inaccurate account of what really happened. Here's a shortened version of the sentence using an ellipsis. The article was a well-written dot 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 account of what really happened. Is this a valid use of the ellipsis? No, because it's not honest to the original sentence. In the shortened sentence, you are misleading the reader into thinking that it is a good article. Whereas in the original quote, it is clear that though the article is well written, it has got its facts wrong, which means it's not a good article. Ellipses are not just used to shorten quotes. They can be used to indicate a pause for effect, an unfinished thought, or a trailing off into silence. You see these usages in fiction and informal writing. Here's an example of the ellipses used to indicate a pause for effect. In this video, I'm going to talk about ellipses. It's like when we informally use sound effects sometimes to create suspense. In this video, I'm going to talk about tantara ellipses. So the pause for effect is like the tantara. Here's an example of an ellipsis indicating a break or trailing off in thought. I can't, but I would avoid using it unless I was sure I was doing so correctly. It's annoying when you get an email, for example, saying, we should meet today, dot, 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 dot. 
Why the ellipsis? Are you pausing for effect? No. Is your thought unfinished? No, it looks like a complete thought that we should meet today. Are you trailing off into silence? Perhaps, but why? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. The other annoying thing is when people use two, five or some other random number of dots. You use exactly three dots or occasionally four if you need to add the full stop indicating the end of the preceding sentence. But that's it. I have been using three dots with a space on either side of it for the ellipses in this video. But some people use spaces between the dots as well. So it becomes space dot space dot space dot space. Some people also put the three dots within square brackets. There are a few other variations as well which I'm not getting into. You decide which style you want to follow, then stick to it. Sometimes the square brackets are useful to differentiate an ellipsis used to denote words you have omitted from the original text when quoting it from an ellipsis that the original author had already put in to signal a pause for effect, an unfinished thought or a trailing off into silence. Take this text for example. He opened the door, saw his visitor and dot 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 wept tears of joy. This sentence already has an ellipsis which was put in by the original writer me to create a pause for effect or suspense. Now if you want to shorten the sentence when quoting it, you could use an ellipsis in brackets to differentiate it from the existing one. He opened the door, ellipsis in brackets and dot 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 wept tears of joy. This will tell the reader that the ellipsis between door and and stands for words you have chosen to omit from the original writing, while the ellipsis between and and wept was put in by the original author to create suspense. It's become common to use an ellipsis while writing text messages and on social media. It can denote confusion, hesitation or that more text is to come. In fact, some messaging apps actually display three dots to indicate that the other person is typing their message. It's fine to use the ellipsis as long as you know what you're using it to indicate. Otherwise, it becomes random dots which confuse or annoy the reader. If you can think of a good example of the use of ellipses, do write it below and do subscribe to The English Not on YouTube. Ring the bell icon too. So you're the first to be notified when I publish a new video. I'm the English Nut. Bye. Just kidding. Bye for now.